it is the most wonderful time of the year. No, not kids going back to school, but Downtown Restaurant Week, where you can try great restaurants at a great price. And uh, <laughs> Ellen Fragola. 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 I've already asked you that twice. That's and okay. I messed it up. I'm sorry. She's here to explain all about it and why. I'm sorry I'm so distracted by the painting. Well, you're doing such a great job. Well, will you tell her that? Because mine's going to be better than hers. <gasps> oh, I'm what? not here to judge. Okay. Everyone's is great. <laughs> all right, so you got to tell us how all this works. Well, Restaurant Week is a week-long dining celebration where restaurants offer three-course prefix dinners for either $20 or $30. Oh, wow. So some restaurants also offer three-course beer or wine pairings for an additional $10. And then we have select venues that offer appetizer samplers as well. So it's a really exciting time. And they're going to pair the drinks with the meals because people like me, like, I don't know what to pair with what. Exactly. Exactly. So there's a lot of restaurants participating. Tell us about some of them. Well, I think that's something we're really excited about this year. We have the highest level of participation with 35 restaurants um, featuring cuisines from around the globe. So it's a great opportunity to really um, take part in the diversity of the restaurant and culinary scene in, in downtown. So where do we find the list of all the restaurants participating? We have a brand new website, DineDowntownRaleigh.com, and it's interactive. It has social media feeds. You can make online reservations powered by Open Table. Um, the menus are available, so everything's there that you need. So reservations aren't required, but they're strongly suggested, right? Strongly recommended because it is a really popular week. Um, the restaurants are, are busy, um, and it just makes everything a little bit easier, but certainly not required. Gotcha. How are we doing, Ellen? What do, you, what do you think about this painting stuff? I think both of them, because I've seen them both. Let me see the progress, are, are amazing. Ignore <coughs> where I'm kind of going off. <laughs> I haven't looked at what we're supposed to be painting once. Oh. Well, I, I think that's OK. It's all about interpretation. Uh, I'm try you know, I'm starting to realize that as a man, you could probably understand what I'm painting subconsciously. <laughs> oh, oh. Have you noticed that, just I, by looking at my painting? You can take a look at it. I think it looks great, whatever it is. Oh, you're just being encouraging. <laughs> so, like where will we sweet. find you? Are you going out like every night? Well, <laughs> actually, we, we are starting um, the week off uh, at Babylon. Uh, our oh. board and staff are going to go enjoy Love a Babylon. nice dinner there. So, uh, some rocking. Yeah, I had dinner there a few weeks ago. Lovely stuff. And how do you prepare for eating so much and drinking so much the whole week? Oh, fasting the week before. So, you fasted all last week, huh? Uh, uh, yes, I'm working on it right now, right now. <laughs> All right, so what did you bring here today? Well, um, I just brought a little sampling of some craft beers from one of our Restaurant Week participants, Busy Bee. Mm -hmm. They do beer pairings with their, with their menu, so I thought this was a great way to showcase their offerings. Somebody, you know, I don't, I don't drink beer, but somebody told me the other day about how big craft beers are, especially around mm -hmm. here, and with all the microbreweries, and everybody's looking for, like, the next cool craft beer. Yeah, it's really um, you know part of the the culinary culture to add that uh, dynamic of the of the beer and the wine pairing. All right, do you have any do you have any artistic abilities? Um, not much. No. Because <laughs> so, I really could use a little help over here. No, I'm no, exhausted. Almost... I am mentally exhausted by this. Well, you look like you're 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 about done. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I can fix. Like, you know, unfortunately, there's no backspace or there's no whiteout that I can put on here to, to fix any spots where I messed up. But I don't think it needs any fixing. Maybe next time we, we need to be inspired some, by some food. Maybe yeah, we need Ellen, to give... yes. You need to bring some food next time. That's always the solution with Volanda. It, well, it certainly is. I'll okay. bring a chef with me and have them do some demos. My One secret of... is out. Everybody knows now. That you're a foodie? Yeah, that, it, all it takes to make me happy is to feed me. Are you going to be going out a lot this week for Restaurant Week? Absolutely. I always enjoy Restaurant Week. Not sure where I want to go yet, though, because there's so many great restaurants, and I've tried most of them. So oh, really? I don't, yeah, That's I've tried great. quite a few of them, yeah. Well, we have some new eateries. We have uh, Tell us about the new ones. Uh, Zinda and Kim Bob yeah. and Jimmy V's, which is, oh, okay. I, I, I haven't think they're been going to open literally just in time for I Restaurant Week. I have not week. been to Jimmy mm -hmm. V's. Yeah. Okay. So that will be a, a great new establishment. Uh, Bolt Bistro, so these are all places that have opened in the, the course of the past year. So if you haven't had an opportunity to. They've got some great Macaroni and cheese, the lobster mac at Bolt. At Bolt? Awesome. Oh, I haven't tried that, but you can never go wrong with uh, with mac and cheese. I know. Add it's some lobster in there. Great atmosphere Perfect. Too. Yes. Thank you. If you guys want more information, make sure you go to dinedowntownraleigh.com.